Hi everyone, this is Tim Niddle with Distilled Living and I'm doing a review of Rabbit Hole Bourbon. Uh, now this is a currently a contract distiller. Um, they are building a distillery in Louisville, uh, but in the meantime they are contract distilling through a distillery in Northern Kentucky. Uh, three guesses as to which one they're using. Um, now, what's interesting is a lot of people are doing contract distilling and producing bourbon in the same kind of flavor profile range as everybody else. Um, some, kind of some consistency and boredom happening in that space. But at Rabbit Hole, they took a different approach. Um, this is a younger bourbon, two to two and a half years, I think, is in the range. Um, it is straight, so, uh, says that on the label. Um, but they've taken a departure from the traditional bourbon path with the way they've handled their grain recipe. Um, so the Rabbit Hole bourbon is, I'm going to reference it, 70% corn, 10% malted wheat, 10% honey malted barley, and 10% malted barley. Um, that's a lot of malt happening there, which means they've got a lot of interesting um, sugars and esters going into the base product there. I actually wanted to look up honey malted barley. I've never heard of that before. That's a proprietary process done by a, a company that provides um, brewing uh, grains out of Canada, which is very interesting. Um, and it's presented at 47.5 uh, ABV or 95 proof. Um, color is, is fairly, a, you know, it's a, it's a golden amber color. Um, I have uh, promoted this product often enough, you can see there. They gave me my own glass. I'm a big fan of this, actually. Um, the nose on it is striking. The, the introduction of all those malts, and especially the honey malt, when you nose it, it's there's a sweet floral that's just very intense that's not found in a lot of bourbon. It's kind of a missing segment in the bourbon flavor wheel for a lot of people. Almost a, a honeysuckle lavender thing going on with it. Um, a lot of the other traditional notes are there. Um, you're going to get some caramel. You're going to get some smoke. Um, uh, but there's this just unique um, layer on top with the distinct honey, floral, almost clover kind of notes to it. Uh, on the palate, it's a little rough around the edges. Um, definitely is showing its age here. Um, there's some distinct ethanol and a little touch of corn going on there. Um, but those really interesting notes come through. I mean, we're, we're picking up the honey, the floral, the honeysuckle. Um, has some crisp green apple, um, a little more fruit, almost like a grape note to it. Um, a lot of interesting complexity. And then more of the, the traditional caramel vanilla smoke notes that you would expect. Uh, and then on the finish, uh, it continues out. It's medium length, um, you know, more time in the barrel would have a longer finish likely. Um, but it's still pleasant. Um, still a little rough, still a little evident alcohol, showing its young age. Uh, but in terms of its overall flavor profile, it's really enjoyable and uh, it's just really unique in its space. Um, so I'm, I'm pleased uh, to have this product in the market and pleased to be able to enjoy it and share my review with you. Thanks for watching.